All right. So this is very interesting to see. I like your I like your referencing. There's, there's some good offsets in the posing there. Um, funny faces too. So it's cute. I like this. I like that you have um, you have a pretty clear set of what you want to do. Let me just play this. Look, I think it's only fair to warn you that I'm practiced in the ancient art of origami. So my question to you is going to be what I like about this. <laughs> this cracked me up. So you have to be careful that if you're going for, it's like basically how far do you want to push the baby aspect and how far do you want to go into young kid aspect, right? Because babies like that, um, you know, they're very, very not in control of their bodies. And I think this is great. I love how, how the baby gets up like this. I would definitely push this, which could be really, really funny. But then once you go into this, I'm not sure if this, uh, it's not like that this wouldn't happen, that there wouldn't be in that much control, but the acting would be slightly different and pushed where it's just a bit more wobbly. So if a baby needs to get up like this, once you're up like that, I think there would be more, whoa, whoa, like a couple steps left and right to get into, get into the right balance which I think could be a fun contrast of body-wise, I'm still a baby and I don't have that much control yet. Yet when they talk, they sound a lot more adult. So even if you do something like this, this turn here, if, if the baby turns the body a bit in wide, that could also force another step, which then in turn, again, could force a little bit of whoa right and left off balance stuff but that really depends on how far you want to go i think this is great i love this uh great stuff with the spoon and that could be fine too and in this case you could push it where if he goes back here that it will go you know if this that's your line right there but if you go that move back with the head it's going to push the body slightly into off balance and then comes back forward again. So they're, they're constantly fighting balance. So that wouldn't be as, um, you know, as controlled. And probably just for silhouette, I would bring that stuff a bit lower so that the spoon is here. So you have a cleaner, cleaner separation of prop and body parts, especially coloring. But I know your color is going to be different, but I would still separate it a bit more. And I mean, you can also then push, put the spoon out for balance. So that as it goes back, the arms go forward with the spoon and that brings the body back again. <clears throat> and the reason why, what prompted my my um, thought process in terms of baby versus kid is that <clears throat> this gets just a bit more adult in terms of acting, which I think is fine. You just have to be careful that... There's just something that I really, really like about this. And again, this is very subjective. This is all up to you. If you're going like this, which would be such a fun and, and visually interesting way of getting up, then I'd be careful when you go from this to this, where this seems, especially how the fingers interconnect, much more in control. So you're getting a bit out of that crazy baby state. Um, but you can get into this by having the hands out and then kind of slap and clap into place and then have the fingers. You can always get into this pose in a messy way to stay baby-like. Um, and then I like what she has here. I would just take that attitude, combine it with that, where it has a bit more of a, uh, you know, like the body is a bit more curved, the head is a bit more curved, like, hmm, I didn't think you would know this type of thing. And then see how all you have all those subtle head moves. I think that can all still work. You have to be careful because your the rig has a really ginormous head. Hold on, <clears throat> I'm just bringing up that site that you sent me. So my, you have to be careful because hold on, let me just make this a bit smaller here as I'm slowly moving through my browser. There you go. <clears throat> so I would just be careful because you're gonna have 
small feet, very, very short legs. Then you're going to have bigger body with a ginormous head, right? Again, my drawing skills are for nothing, but, <clears throat> you know, look at your, your proportions. So if you have all those head bobbles, the way you have them in the reference, it's going to be, you have to be careful, but the moment you start moving your head left and right, and if that body doesn't react to it and steps left and right and has a bit of, you know, balance correction, then it's going to feel a bit weird. So you have to be very careful in terms of how you move the head. Um, so I would say, because you're asking in the, I'm going to take this out here, in your email, um, if you need to reshoot reference a bit for, you know, different framing and, and camera and stuff like that, um, and for acting wise, it just kind of depends on your workflow. Uh, to me, I don't know. It depends how much you, you rely on reference. I think having this in, in terms of your mechanics and how you move, that's a great start. This is a great end thing of this is how far I want to go with the pushing. And the thing is, short legs, big body, and just the way babies move is really hard to replicate as, a, as an adult, A, because of proportions, but also because you're going to really just pretend. I think you're going to be better off finding reference of how babies move. Like you are, ha you have this reference, and you know what you want to do. You want, you know how the acting beats are, the staging, the framing, and if you have close-up stuff for the for the face, like you say in email, that's great. You don't need to see that now. I'm just gonna just do body mechanics first. I would say um, my only thing would be careful with this framing. You know, it could be. I mean, the baby's not gonna be as tall, so hopefully the head is gonna be somewhere here-ish. You know, if that's the baby's head body. And sitting here, baby tall, you know, that, you know, it's not going to be as much tilt up with the camera. So I think the frame is going to be okay. This just seems very, very low. But again, this is going to change. Um, but just to go back to your reference, I would stick with this. I don't think you need new reference unless you really, really want to act at what babies do. Because there's, this is enough. This great stuff where you, you can just push it in the posing once you get in there. Like I said, to me, pushing the out of control baby aspect. And the reason why I would also push him with going back and forth is because he has a bit more of a dopey feel. He, he doesn't seem as smart, given that he does all this. So having him move around more than her, I think, will set up good contrast of he's not as smart and she's smarter, if that's something that you want to go for. But I would still respect the body mechanics of I'm a baby. And I'm not quite in control, so when I get up like this, it's going to be slightly off balance and, and going left and right. That's just me. I don't, maybe you don't want to push it as far. But I think you're going, to be, you're going to be better off looking at actual baby reference to pick up on the nuances of how babies move. But there's just, a couple th there's just things that babies do that, as an adult, you would only imitate after having seen reference of babies is that something that something that you naturally do anymore because you're not you just don't have those proportions anymore and that mindset anyway if that makes sense all right other than that i think the, the setup is great those moments are great and again i love these poses here so um keep going and you got some other questions in the email i will email you separately i mean i mean i will answer you separately there's just a bit more email specific than in the critique and that's it. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with your blocking. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.